motherfucking deal youtube it's your boy levin please comment like and subscribe on this video i thank you guys for supporting the channel i thank you guys that was all in the live stream uh last night the two uh the, no 2k19 and uh you know the uh, orlando magic versus the philadelphia 76 i appreciate that uh so much it will be one tonight uh you know rockets uh versus bucks two Battle of MVP candidates, uh, James Harden versus Giannis, guys. Appreciate the love and the support. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, let's get right into the video. The Orlando Magic ass whooped the uh, Philadelphia 76ers 119 and 198. Um, it was a total domination in the second half uh, by the Orlando Magic, both offensively, defensively. Um, Orlando Magic shot good from the field. Like I said, in Orlando Magic, they surprised me a lot. So I got them not making the playoffs. They're on the verge of making the playoffs. Coach Steve Clifford has done a great job with his basketball team. Uh, having them coming out and preparing every single night. Mo Bumble been hurt like uh for the past couple uh for the past couple months. Uh they got uh they traded for uh Markel Folks. Uh he hasn't played another game. I don't think he would. Uh, but like I say, the players had came out with great energy. Uh, but on Philadelphia side of things, it was a bad performance, man. You coming off a loss against the Atlanta Hawks, which is you lost, uh, like I say, on a Trey Young shot. I think on a Trey Young shot. But to come out against Orlando and play like this, let Orlando get to the paint anytime they want, it's just a disgraceful performance by uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. And like I say, I don't got they my ceiling is a second round and not for Philadelphia. Anyway it goes, you gotta see uh Toronto and Boston. And what if you see you see them in the second round, you would not be in the Eastern Conference Finals for that performance. Yeah, you got you guys got the talent uh to be in the Eastern Conference Finals or be in the finals. But like I say, Ben Simmons by his inability to shoot the basketball and shoot a jump shot, it was going to hurt Philadelphia. Uh, like I say, last year, I thought you guys were a really a better team than Boston, but I think y'all just got out coach. Uh, I, um, Brad Stevens just out coach Brett Brown. But like I say, adding Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, and uh, like I say, Mike Scott and Beaumont, that helps out a lot. But from what I saw last night, the guys guys could not shoot in the in the fourth quarter. It took it took the bench to come off the uh it took the like the uh bench came out and scored. Shake Milton had a good game. Uh Joel Embiid had an okay game, but he was in foul trouble. Jimmy Butler couldn't get nothing going. Tobias Harris could not get anything going. The other guys, like Mike Scott, uh, couldn't get nothing going. Bo Bun had an okay game, but what I saw on the defensive side of the basketball was very, very poor. I saw the uh, Orlando Magic get layups, uh, get to the lane. Kim Bercher had a good game for Orlando, and uh, Aaron Gordon was nice. Uh, Bucevic was definitely nice, uh, 28 Four and eleven, he was definitely nice. Uh, Michael Carter Williams, who we cut, he was nice. Uh, defensive wise, uh, rebounding wise, he was nice last night for Orlando. Uh, like I said, he was very very good. Uh, Aaron Fournier was good uh, on the defensive side of the basketball. He had a, one play. He had a nice little spin move of uh, JJ Reddy in layup. Uh, they blew the game open in the third quarter, and like I say, they then they poured it on in the fourth quarter. Uh, Orlando, this is a big for this is a big game tonight. They got they on the back to back. They got Miami tonight. This Miami and, uh, game right now is back. Um, it's for the eighth seed. Orlando, I didn't expect them to be in this position, but they're in this position. They have a good chance of making the playoffs. But like right now, I will pick uh Miami to make the playoffs. But would it shot me if Orlando beat beat out Miami? No, because it's the Eastern Conference. Eastern Conference is weak, and teams are gonna be in. And Charlotte almost still in the uh. In the playoff picture, but right now, like I say, um, great win for the uh, Orlando Magic. It was a terrible performance for the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. You lost a close win against Atlanta, then to come out and have a lack of effort in a poor performance like this. Uh, JJ Reddick couldn't shoot. Uh, not, nothing uh, went right for the um, Philadelphia 76ers tonight, and that's why I got questions on. That's why. I still think Boston is better than them in the seven-game series in Toronto. Either way it goes, you guys are playing either one of them in the seven-game series. Like I say, in the second round. Or at least the Bucks will somehow advance. But you're playing either one of them in the second round. So, like I said, man, 
Uh, that was a poor, poor performance by the Philadelphia 76ers. It was no, I thought that I, it was no defensive effort on stopping uh, Orlando from getting to the paint. They got to the paint consistently. It was one play. Uh, I think Ken Burcher shot uh, the, a free throw, and Michael Carter and Terrence Ross come out of nowhere, gets an offensive rebound. Nobody just box out. Then Michael Carter Williams, he missed a free throw. He gets his own rebound back and lays it up and in. Just poor effort, at, poor effort last night by the Philadelphia 76ers. That is not going to get the job done in playoff time against Boston or Toronto or, like I say, against the Milwaukee Bucks who we play tonight. That is poor effort, uh, lack of effort last night that I saw in Philadelphia. And that resulted in getting their ass beat last night, uh, 119-98, a complete total domination by Orlando. Both sides of the ball, especially in the second half. And it took, uh, like, five minutes in the fourth quarter uh, for – the Philadelphia 76 is just a score, and their bench scored the points. Like when Jimmy Butler then was still in, it, they they only shot free throws. They only they, was, they had only five points in the fourth quarter before the bench came in and uh, hit a, hit threes and stuff like that. Then Bowden coming off the bench hit threes. The bench were hitting shots. It took the bench to hit shots. Until that time, they was only shooting free throws and making free throws. That was poor effort, poor defensive effort. And I was very disappointed in Philadelphia. And one dude it was in my chat to say, uh, Philadelphia, easy win for Philadelphia. No, the hell it's not. Especially when uh, Orlando is in the playoffs. In the playoffs, that's not an easy win. But great, give credit to Orlando, man. They bust their ass like last night. They played hard. Uh, they got anything the hell they want. They shot well. Went, penetrated to the basket. Vucevic uh, is a monster. Uh, they play uh, Miami tonight. And that game will be for the eight. Uh, seed uh, for right now. So let's get right into the stats. Uh, 31, 31 first quarter, even first quarter. Uh, the, the largest lead for Philadelphia was 7. I think 44-37 Orlando. It was 29-26 uh, uh, second quarter. And then 32-17 Orlando. Complete domination in that third quarter. In the middle of the third quarter, that was complete domination. 30-21 uh, to uh, 21, uh, fourth quarter. Another complete domination in that quarter. Uh, Philadelphia went a long time without make, making a basket. 49% uh, from Philadelphia 76ers. They shot well from the field. They shot well. Orlando just shot even better. Uh, 76 from the free throw line. 26 Percent from three. JJ Reddy couldn't shoot. Uh, Jimmy Butler couldn't shoot from the three ball. And Tobias Harris struggled. Uh, 19 assists, no ball movement. Uh, 39 rebounds. Uh, 51 percent from Orlando. 78 percent from the free throw line. 37 percent from three. They shot really better. Jonathan Isaac had a nice game early on in the game. He got high. 28 assists for Orlando. Awesome ball movement. Uh, 44 rebounds. Out rebounded. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh. Joel B 20 and 10. Jimmy Butler, 13, 7, and 6. Without Ben Simmons, he played a lot of point forward last night. Tobias Harris, 15. J.J. Reddy, 8. He struggled from the field. Um, Ennis didn't play. Jonathan Simmons had 8 points. Boban had 6 points. McConnell, 2 points. Mike Scott, 7. Uh, Shake Milton, 13. Very good rookie. Very impressed with Shake Milton. Uh, but that was pretty much it. I was very impressed with Shake Milton, that rookie, last night. Or For Orlando, Vucevic, uh, 28, 4, and 11. Very, very good. Aaron Gordon played some great defense last night, 12 and 8. Uh, Evan Fournier was awesome last night, uh, 24 and 7. Uh, Terrence Ross struggled, 7, uh, 7, 3, and 3. But he had a good uh, three-pointer coming off the screen by Vucevic. Uh, DJ Augustine didn't do too much, four and four. Uh, Jonathan Isaac, eight points. Uh, Wesley Wondu, two. Michael Carter Williams, uh, 15 uh, and six. Kim Bercher had a great game, awesome game, defensive energy wise, um, uh, scoring wise, cut into the basket, into the free throw line. He had uh, 10 and five. But Jimmy, I mean, like I say, Michael Carter Williams and Ken Bircher off the bench was very, very good for Orlando. And Evan Fournier and um, Vucevic was very, very good. But the defense was very, very good for Orlando. The defense was great. Uh, the offense was great last night on both sides of the ball. Got to the basket anytime they want. Made open shots. Uh, they pressured uh, Philadelphia 76ers uh, offensive players. They frustrated them. And that was very great. 
uh by the uh Orlando Magic again. Orlando Ma Magic win one nineteen to uh ninety eight. A complete domination ass whooping of Florida. Uh Orlando ass whooping. That's what I'm gonna call it. Uh comment, like, and subscribe on this video, guys. Don't forget it will be a live stream tonight. Rocket to Milwaukee. Bucks at seven o'clock. So make sure y'all be there. Y'all sub up on Dante's Sports Talk live streams. That's when I'm gonna be live streaming on uh the game tonight. So thank you guys. I'm gonna get ready to be out. Uh, I'm gonna do the Astro season preview probably uh later today. So anyway, the Orlando Magic, uh they play Miami Heat tonight, trying to get uh that for that eighth and final spot. Uh, they dominate the uh, Philadelphia 76ers, 119-98. to 98. 76ers is very disappointed in them guys, the way they played. Uh, I, I see them in second round and out. That's why I see them. Uh, Orlando, they do make the playoffs. You know, they're first round and out. But this would be a good stepping stone for Orlando. You know, now that they make, if they make the playoffs, uh, like I said, team play, people want to start looking at Orlando as an attractive destination. They, they dominated last night. Thank you, guys. Uh, 119 to 98, Orlando. I'm out. Peace.